Deep Born of Horizon by Daniel Rios Jones and Eric Arvalo. City and country where the disaster located. Kurt. Deep Water Horizon oil spill, also called the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, largest marine oil spill. Explosion on the Deep Water Horizon oil ring located in the Gulf of Mexico, approximately 41 miles, 66 kilometers of the coast of Louisiana. Date, month, year, disaster occurred. It all started in April 2000, in April 20, 2010 and ended at September 19, 2010. Specific cause of the deep water horizon. Explosion of the deep water horizon oil ring. Specific effect the disaster had on the environment. Birds, sea turtles, marine mammals, fish, oysters, crabs, and coral. Seagrass, mangroves, and wetland vegetarian specific effect the disaster had on humans the oil spill caused shortness of breathing headaches skin rash chore can cough weakness disease speeds painful joint and chest pain exploding explored and sinking refuge in the deep and the death of 11 workers on the deep water horizon in the largest spill. Here's some pictures of the disaster occurred. The Door to Hell. The Door to Hell is located in Darvaza, Turkmenistan. This happened in 1971 and 50 years later, the fire has, is still burning. What caused it? The Soviets had oil rigs that were in the middle of the desert, and there's a soft spot where the oil rig was located. And it created a crater, and it started leaking methane in the air. So when the Soviets saw this, they thought, well, we're just going to light it on fire so it won't kill anybody. And they thought, oh, it's just going to last for about two weeks or something. But over 50 years later, it's still burning and it will not be burning out anytime soon. And if you look in the crater, you can still see the parts of the oil rigs. There's now a tour site in the middle of the desert that's really the biggest effect it really had on humans. The effect to the environment is it's wasting natural gases that could be used to heat people's houses. It's releasing, releasing smoke in the air and it may be releasing methane. There is no cleanup that can really be done, and it's an active burning site, and there's now a 200 by 66 foot hole in the middle of the ground, and it will not be burning out anytime soon. So a cleanup will not be necessary, but for a long time. You can't really do a cleanup with this. I said, it's still burning. It's a natural gas, so it's not like you can just get water. It will actually make the fire worse. They, the government can keep this from happening again by not letting the Soviets near any of their new oil sites. They will not, cannot drill in the middle of the desert, and they can also make sure that the ground is not soft and weak where they're drilling. Interesting facts. If you have a gas, natural gas, or an electric fire at a house, get baking soda and, or baking powder and smother the fire with it and just cover with it. And it'll actually put it out a lot better than water ever will. Because if you put water on it, it'll actually make the fire grow and get a lot worse. And the president of Turkmenistan drove his car by the door to hell to prove that he's still alive, unlike the media outlets were saying. Gulf Oil Spill by Kiara Brown, period six. The name of my disaster is Gulf Oil Spill. It occurred in the Gulf of Mexico on the date April 20th, 2010 to September 19th, 2010. Cause of the disaster. 
the oil drilling rig Deepwater Horizon operating in the Mancondo Prospect in the Gulf of Mexico exploded and sank, resulting in the death of 11 workers on the Deepwater Horizon. The oil spill's effects. The effects the oil spill had on the environment include animal reproductive failure, organ damage, the water became contaminated, and the plant's face affected plant growth. Effects the oil spill had on humans Exposed cleanup workers face shortness of breath, headaches, skin rash, chronic cough, weakness, dizzy spells, painful joints, and chest pain seven years after their exposure to the oil spill. Cleanup. How long was the cleanup process? Nearly three months to stem the flow of oil from the ruptured undersea well. What has been done to, the clean, to clean the disaster? Workers treated the oil with over 1.4 million gallons of various chemical dispersants. Typically, such large amounts are sprayed over the open ocean from an airplane or helicopter. Oil spill prevention. What has the government done to prevent any future oil spills? The government created the Federal Water Pollution Control Act, also known as the Clean Water Act, and the Oil Pollution Act. Interesting fact. More than 200 million gallons of crude oil was pumped into the Gulf of Mexico for a total of 87 days making it the biggest oil spill in U.S. history. Here are my resources. Thank you. The Mississippi dead zone varies in size each year and may extend from the Louisiana slash Alabama coast to the westernmost Texas coast. The dead zone was discovered in the 1970s, but dead zone mapping didn't begin until 1985 and has been mapped every year since. This event occurs in late summer for a short period of time. Heavy rains and melting snow wash massive amounts of nutrients, especially nitrogen and phosphorus from lawns, sewage treatment plants, and farmland along the Mississippi River and into the Gulf of Mexico. The dead zone is created by an algae bloom that chokes off oxygen in the water, making it almost impossible for the plants and marine life to survive. Fish and shrimp can leave the area, but anything that can't, like, can't escape like crabs, worms, and clams, die. The dead zone costs the U.S. seafood industry and the tourist industry $80 million a year. The seafood industry accounts for more than 30% of the nation's seafood. It hurts the fishing industry because the fishermen are forced to travel further from land and spend more time and money to make their catches. The nitrogen and phosphorus in the water causes algae blooms that choke off oxygen in the water, making it almost impossible for plants and animals to survive. The dead zone, the, the dead zone in the Gulf d damages the ability of the world's oceans to produce seafood. It decreases reproductive capabilities in fish and reduces the average size in shrimp, which causes fewer larger shrimp overall, increasing their price. The nutrients poured into the Gulf causes extensive algae growth, and, uh, the result is stinky, algae-choked waters that kill off marine plants and animals. Humans would find it quite undesirable to swim or fish in these waters. Scientists from Louisiana University and Louisiana University's Marine Consortium collect data to determine the size of the dead zone. The long-term goal is to use these measurements to create the best strategies for managers to reduce both the size and its impact on our coastal living resources and economy. Almishak Fire by Sayed Maromi. The location and date of the disaster. The fire ignited in June 2003. The location of the disaster was Mishrak State Sulfur Mine Plant near Mosul, Iraq. Cause of the disaster. The fire was supposedly caused by arsonists. The large flames was due to the location which was a sulfur mine company. Sulfur is a very flammable chemical element while airborne. It could be ignited by friction, static electricity, heat, spark, or flames. Effects on the environment. The fire was putting 48,000 tons of sulfur dioxide a day into the atmosphere. The pollution in Mosul was at a catastrophic level. For over 48 hours, the white smoke from sulfur dioxide could be seen in the air. Effects on the people. Short-term health effects include reddening of the nose and throat, eye irritation, coughing, Long-term effects include constructive, constructive bronchitis and asthma-like condition. High levels, these gases can burn through the skin and cause severe airway obstruction, hypoxia, and polymer, polymeria edemia. Length of the disaster and aftermath. The 
firebird for approximately four weeks. The, resu the resulting toxic plume dispersed over a large area, causing acute short-term injuries in exposed military staff. What was done to stop the fire? The fire was not physically stopped by the people. They let the fire burn out. After the fire was burned out, they cleaned up the area where there was still dangerous fumes. Why it cannot happen again? Iraq's government created stronger penalties and consequences in regards of the large arson attacks across the country. In some instances, the death penalty is the most reported outcome. Interesting facts. The fire burned for almost a month, becoming the largest man-made sulfur, sulfur fire in recorded history. It released roughly 42 million pounds of sulfur dioxide as well as a significant amount of hydrogen sulfide. These are the, these are the sources. Thank you for listening. This is a civil disaster. Where did the Cerveso disaster happen? The Cerveso disaster occurred in Meta, Italy, which is right here. When did it happen? The Cerveso disaster took place on the 10th of July, 1976. The exact cause is unknown, however, it's highly speculated that an unforeseeable exothermic reaction with increase of temperature, slow decomposition of the reaction areas, formation of gas and rise in pressure was the reason. Effect. All animals in the contaminated environment died from either human hands to get rid of the chemical from the food chain or spontaneously from the 99.64% of the animals in the contaminated zones were spontaneously killed by the chemical disaster and the rest by human hands. Plant life was miraculously unaffected, however, since the chemical can be found in the soil. The areas are still off limits, though. Humans. There were no human deaths said to be caused by the disaster. However, around 20,000 people were in the area, and very close to that amount got very, very sick. It took eight years to complete the cleanup, and since the identification of the contamination sites took so long, many people fell out. Some methods of cleanup include making the sites off-limits, killing animals that were infected as for the chemical not to spread through them, your humans who fell ill from the disaster, which surprisingly and luckily wasn't as hard as it may seem, with antibiotics being something to be used to help. Preventive measures to prevent another Cerveso disaster from happening, changes in the facility's design and designs that have come after it have been made safer to prevent another tragedy as well as more strict policies in how the facilities are operated. Fun fact. The waste from the disaster was put into canisters fit for nuclear waste. These are pictures from the Cerveso disaster. This is somebody who seems to have died to it. However, legally there was no somebody dying. And this is some of the gas in a higher quality picture. And this is also a chemical formula for for what happened. These are my resources. Thank you for listening to my presentation. London's Deadly Fog by Evelyn Tran, Period 6 What is the Deadly London Fog? The Deadly London Fog, also known as the Great Smog of London, took place in London, England, and rained terror from December 5, 1952 to December 9, 1952. The Great Smog of London was caused when the usual fog mixed with smoke, which is quite common in London, never dispersed. The high-pressure water system in London had created a warm layer of air around the city, and without wind, the smog couldn't escape and mixed with acid sulfur particles while trapped in the city. What did the fog affect? No birds flew the skies for days. 
They had all rushed into buildings to try and escape the dark fog that now smelled of rotten eggs. Robberies and thieveries had also increased during this time due to the fog allowing an easy getaway. Schools and transportation was also banned as people were advised to stay home, and ones who did go out would come home with their faces covered in black soot. It was especially lethal to those with smoking problems, elderly, and young children. Some Londoners had even reported not being able to see their own feet. Aftermath It is estimated that the fog had initially killed more than 4,000 people and hospitalized 150,000. The detrimental effects lingered and had killed around 8 to 12,000 lives even after the fog had left the city. Thousands of animals had also been reported dead. Initially, the British government wasn't too concerned about the fog. After all, this type of fog was pretty common in London. However, after an investigation, Parliament had passed the Clean Air Act of 1956. This restricted the burning of coal in urban areas and had authorized local councils to set up smoke-free zones. This new act had took coal away as the most primal source of heat and power for years before electricity and oil became accessible. Not so fun fact, a similar fog to this occurred again following the Great Smog, but only injured 500, 750 and was never to such a scale as this was. Ecocide in Vietnam Started in southern Vietnam in the jungle terrain, the worst of it was at the Da Nang International Airport. Happened on October 8, 1961. Because of Vietnam's jungle-like landscape, visibility was very low, which made it easy for the U.S. to get in. But to make it so they can see, the military created synthetic auxins that defoliate the jungle fast. But researchers found out that it could be a weapon of war because it could be used against humans. The U.S. started to put it in Vietnam food supply and their crops so they can force people into the big cities where they can be controlled. 20% of the jungles were destroyed. There's a huge decrease in plant and animal populations, and the soil lost most nutrients, which caused the farmers not to be able to grow crops. Most farmers couldn't grow crops anymore, and they had to move to big cities to survive. It also caused a 300% increase of birth defects and a 50% increase of stillbirths. The U.S. started the cleanup six years ago, and it's still an ongoing process. They built a football field-sized oven that baked about 160,000 tons of contaminated dirt for more than 60 degrees. In 1971, the United States and Vietnam government banned Agent Orange from ever being used again. So the U.S. took responsibility by giving 52,000 veterans $3,800 each. Here are before and after pictures. Agent Orange is a fat syllable, which means that it enters plants, animals, and people through tons or ingestion. If not ingested by a plant or animal, Agent Orange quickly dries and becomes unusable. Here are my sources. Jilin chemical plant explosion. It happened in Jilin City, Jilin Province, in China, in November 23, 2005. 13, my bad. These very explosions were caused by a blockage in the plant's processing tower, given the name Jilin Chemical Plant Explosion. There's a blockage in the chemical plant's processing tower because of a worker's failed attempt with a lack of government and company supervision and monitoring. The explosion polluted the Songhao River, the main source of water for many cities, forcing water to be shut off in major cities. A lot of fires were started off due to this, and even though it was cleared after a day, it still released harmful gases, then destroyed the ecosystem and ruined fresh water sources to the end. Many explosions over a period of an hour killed and injured dozens of people and forced tens of thousands of residents to back away away from the site. Many could not drink water for a week and witnessed their polluted waters and homes. Many hydropower stations began releasing more water into attempts to take out the chemicals that have flown into the Songhao River. Many water supply was cut off until November 18th and a water supply was stored on November 23rd. The government asked hotels and restaurants in the city to provide room and evacuation for people who had to get out of the city. Invest investigations also happened as soon as the disaster was treated to see what had caused the disaster. The government started to properly check the chemical plants and became more careful with how they treat and manage it. After the result of the explosions, they tried to make low productions in order for a future disaster happening so that low casualties will be caused. Fun fact, the Jilin chemical plant explosion happened 10 days before I was born, and the water supply that was affected was treated when I was born. 100 tons of pollutants containing benzene and nitrobenzene polluted the Sunhao River, which is why people got leukemia drinking the water. Here are the sources. Click the link. Castle Rabble. About 
Castle Bravo. Location, date, how many places did he affect, damage, how did you recover, how did this event affect the environment, house, how many times were people able to return to their homes on their island. The massive explosion took place in the Bikini Atoll and Rearch, many islands because the Bikini Bottom is part of a group of islands that is between the Marshall Islands and the Federated States of Micronesia. Date, one of the most devastating tests was the so-called Castle Bravo operation launched on Bikini Atoll on March 1, 109,054, in which a hydrogen bomb was detonated with a power of 15 megatons, 100 times higher than the Hiroshima bomb. Damage. About five hours after the bomb blast, radioactive fallout began to fall on the inhabitants of the island. Jews, people who knew nothing of what was happening, saw a wildfire on the horizon, and hours later, ash began to rain until it formed a layer a few centimeters thick. A few hours later, they will begin to experience the physical things of radiation exposure in the form of vomiting, diarrhea, and hair loss. According to other witnesses, in the following years, some of the people exposed to the contamination died, and others developed various types of cancer. The witness also speak of a number of abortions and of children born with malformation. How did it recover? In 109,072, the United States Atomic Energy Commission declared that the island has covered and more than 100 people returned in 78. Radiation levels were found to be worryingly high and residents were evacuated again, and later they could not return, but in the great grab that was left by the great explosion years later, a kid impressive and prosperous ecosystem was formed with many fish, corals, and many other living beings. The water that surrounds the atoll are full of remains of ships of the Second World War, including the aircraft carrier USS Saratoga and the HIGMS Nagato, from where Admiral Yamamoto were waved the order to attack Pearl Harbor. Then in 1000 10, UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site to serve as a symbol and reminder of man's ability to end himself. How does this event affect the environment? It had many horrible consequences such as, for example, the soil of the island was vaporized and left a large crater 15 and 75 meters deep on the island. It also made a shower of ash with radiation levels that some more were found as far as Europe and on 11 islands, the threats have radiation levels that exceed both the levels at Chernobyl and Fukushima, and the limits set by international organizations such as international physicians of the prevention of the nuclear war, IPPNW for its acronym in English. House. The reason was that between Marshall Island and the United States Bikini Island was a place where nuclear tests were carried out. 57 explosions were carried out on the island, but Castle Bravo was the largest and it was a very large accident, what was very terrible even for the United States. United States later did many studies with Columbia University to study radiation on the islands and also evacuate people after a few days to be treated by doctors. How many times were the people come back to the islands? They never returned to the island and the United States government established funds to recollect the inhabitants of Bikini, Rogelab and any Wittag atolls. Also, Bikini and Rogelab remain unhabitated due to high levels of contamination. An agreement between the United States and the Marshall Islands establishes an arbitration tribunal, the Nuclear Claims Tribunal, to decide claims for compensation in relation to the detonations, also the court award comp compensation many have not been paid because their funds contributed by the United States were exhausted. The end. Your project, the Love Canal. The Love Canal occurred in the Niagara Falls, New York, in the United States. The Love Canal occurred in 1978, and although there is no exact date when it occurred, there is a date when it was first inspected, which was April 13, 1978. 
From 1942 to 1953, the canal was used as a chemical waste dump and in the end it contained 21,000 tons of toxic chemicals. The winters of the late 1970s raised the water levels of the canal and made the chemicals leak into the basements of the homes of nearby residents. The basement area of many homes were contaminated by unacceptable levels of toxic vapor. The soils, shallow wells, and sump drains were contaminated by chemicals and microbes outside the immediate canal area. There was a higher percentage rate of children with malformations. Per 100 live births, 13.3% of them had malformations, and while before the disaster it was 2.2%. There were higher percentage rates of miscarriages for pregnant women. Per 100, 100 pregnancies, it was 23%, point, 23.7%, while before the disaster it was 9.3%. And there were increase in people with problems with liver function and abnormal blood mercury levels. The cleanup took around 21 years and costed about $400 million. The government helped to create a super fund which was designed to identify and clean up the worst of the chemicals in the waste site. They removed the contaminated soil and groundwater and although all the cleaning was done in 2004, there is still toxic water on Love Canal so it is still not the safest place to live at. 33% of the residents experienced chromosome damage. There have been more than 248 chemicals discovered in the area of the Love Canal. In 1952, Hooker Chemical Company filled the waste site in and they sell, sold the land to the city for only $1. And these are the resources I used. This is the Picture Lee Contamination by Janice Kim, period 6. This is the history of the disaster. The location is Pitcher, Oklahoma, United States. The date is 1920 through May 10, 2008. Some fun facts about this disaster is that an EF4 tornado hit the town and 90% of the buildings were in critical condition. The disaster was caused by mining. The effects on the environment was that the area was filled with toxic waste and the groundwater was contaminated by lead. The effects on humans was that the residents were exposed to harmful toxin. About 63% of children were suffering from lead poisoning. The disaster is still being cleaned up. The government has tried to clean up the disaster by setting up the Tar Creek Superfund site. One example is to offer buyouts so that the people can leave the town before another incident can occur. Another example is closing places like Pitcher from the public because places like that are not safe to live in. My project is about TVA, Kingston, Fossil Plant, Coal, Fly, Ash, Slur Spill by Diane Lee. The spill happened in Tennessee, Roan Country Junction of the Empori River and Clinch River. December 22, 2008, around 1 a.m. is when the spill had happened. Cause and effect. The cause was a result of spillage of the unstable layer of fine wet coal ash near the pond. The effect was it got into the waterways of the Empori River and Clinch River. Lots of toxic byproducts like acidic, lead, mercury, and others got into the river. It covered at least 300 acres of land. There was at least six feet deep of ash. It also contaminated the water. Effects on humans. No injuries or deaths for civilians. People's homes were destroyed, around $1 billion in property damage. Around 400 workers gotten sick from the exposure to the ash. Their fish were contaminated, so they weren't allowed to eat it. Fly ash can trigger asthma, inflammation, and immunological reactions. People that clean up the mess got illnesses like brain cancer, lung cancer, leukemia from long time exposure. 44 workers died from the cleanup. The cleanup. 
They use bulldozers, backhoes, and amphibian equipment to clean. It took over 45 months, around 3.75 years to clean. It took approximately $43 million to clean it up. Hi, my name is Bill Nguyen and my project is Dust Bowl. City and country of disaster. The first dust bowl to ever occur was in the United States of the Seven Plains in Oklahoma Panhandle in 1930. The day the disaster appeared, there's no specific date for the first dust bowl appearance. However, there was a the year 1930, and the worst dust bowl to ever happen was in April 14, 1935. The last dust bowl that ended was in 1939. Cause of the disaster. After the Civil War, economic farming and high temperatures, federal land policies, and the other cultural factors changed in the regional weather. So poor technology back then caused this disaster. After the disaster. After the disaster, it came with farmers and left with no homes and the crops were off land and this drought. And the prices for the crops drew, grew larger because of the drought. How to clean up the disaster. After more decibels in the past, the government, the government decided to start a campaign in 1937 to help farmers in the decibel to teach them another way of planting and plowing so they can conserve the soil. The result in 1939 was that the drought had ended and the rainfall had begun to fall. How the government tried to prevent it. First, they'll have farmers get rid of all the dead crops by bribing them with money. After all the m dead crops are gone, the federal government plants millions of trees, just like the federal government in 1937 planting over 220 million trees on where the dust bowl came. Result of the disaster. The result of the first dust bowl disaster had left people and livestock killed with the soil for crops were all missed. The ending of the dust bowl in 1939 ended in over 500,000 Americans becoming homeless, which caused 3.5 million people to migrate from the Great Plains. One interesting fact is that the dust bowl was called the Dirty Thirties because the dust bowl had happened in 1930s and ending in the 30s, 1939. And these are my sources.